Hello, I'm called Jingo Nelly, and I'm going to be taking you through cost of capital in financial management. And uh, before I begin off, I'm going to require you to subscribe and also follow what I'm pointing at because I'm already having well explained, laid down information. So with uh, you understanding cost of capital, I'm going to begin with the introduction to it. And uh, here in cost of capital, crucial decisions in financial management are often made with reference to the cost of capital. So looking at the capital budgeting decision, uh, that is the investment decision, and uh, financing decisions as some of the crucial decisions. In the capital budgeting decision, the cost of capital is reflected in the investor's uh, required rate of return, that is the ARA, 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 uh, which is then used to discount the investor's uh, cash flows so as to drive its net present value. So after you knowing that, uh, also recall that the internal rate of return, that is the IRR, is compared with the required rate of return in order to determine if the investment project is feasible or not. Then uh, uh, still, uh, still under the investment decision, uh, the profitability index, that is the PI, also reflects the present value of inflows to that of outflows which present which present values are partly affected by the required rate of return used so looking at the financing decision the financial manager also seeks to obtain a capital structure for the firm that minimizes its cost of capital So looking at cost of capital by definition, cost of capital is defined as the minimum uh, required rate of return expected by the firm's investors, uh, that is to say the capital suppliers, or cost of capital is the rate of return the, firms, the firm expects to earn from its investment in order to increase the value of the firm in the marketplace. So in other words, it is the rate of return that the suppliers of capital require as compensation for their contribution of capital. So the cost of capital is also called the opportunity, co opportunity cost of capital or the discount rate or cutoff rate or hardware rate reflecting reflecting the fact that any investment must realize such a rate of return if it is to be feasible so looking at the importance like importance of cost of capital the importance is embedded in the four major decisions of fi of finance which include uh if at all i'm to look at the capital budgeting decision uh it helps in the project appraisal so in the cap in the capital Budgeting decision, uh, accept, acceptability of a project depends on the cost of capital because we need the net present value which depends on the cost of capital thus becoming our discounting rate. Moving on to another important, that is to do with the financing decision. It helps in uh, designing the capital structure of a firm. So in the financing decision, the mixture of the the mixture of using debt or equity helps to determine the cost or helps to determine the cost of each source of finance, hence shaping the financing risk of a firm. So moving on to another importance uh, to do with uh, the working capital. So in the working capital decision, looking at the short term liabilities and uh, liabilities and assets of a firm, an opportunity cost between buying on credit and giving out credit uh, is undertaken another point under working capital decision cost of capital also helps to determine the liquidity and profitability position of a firm for example what is the cost of increasing debtors than selling on cash so uh, that is to do with the importance 
uh, then uh, the last one will be in uh, to do with the uh, in the dividend decision so here uh, the shareholders look at the cost of committing their money and the firm looks at the cost of issuing dividends and the cost of retaining earnings so after you knowing this uh, so when a firm pays dividends it is perceived to be less risky hence investors will attach a lower cost of capital and when a firm does not pay dividends investors will attach a higher cost of capital because the firm is perceived to be uh, to be highly risky now from that introduction uh, make sure you subscribe for another video so that's it that will be that will be all for today thank you so much for watching